Hello future PEs, this is Vaseem Asghar. Welcome to studyforfe.com. This is your one-stop shop for everything related to FE electrical and computer exam preparation, as well as the PE power exam preparation. I'm a licensed professional engineer in the US and Canada. I have authored several books on the topic of FE electrical and computer exam preparation, as well as the PE power exam preparation. I've also developed online exam preparation programs for FE electrical and PE power. I'll take a few minutes of your time to give you a quick rundown and explain you how my exam preparation resources can help you fast track your PE licensing journey. It all starts with the FE exam. Now passing this exam becomes incrementally more and more difficult as the time goes by. And the reason for that is your concepts, your understanding, your ability to do questions within three minutes and recall all the content that you've studied in your undergraduate, it will start becoming a little bit rusty. And the interesting thing about the FE exam is that it tests you on your entire undergraduate coursework. So whatever you learned in four years will be tested on the exam within five hours and 20 minutes. That gives you roughly three minutes per question. So even if you know what you need to do, doing that within three minutes per question is typically difficult for most of the students. But the key to passing this exam is a solid theoretical understanding combined with a lot of practice for every section. Now, as I mentioned, I've authored books on the topic of FE Electrical. Some of the books you can see in the background. This is my study guide. It is the only five-star rated book on Amazon on the topic of FE Electrical Computer. But I've also developed a self-paced on-demand FE Electrical and Computer Exam Preparation course and I also conduct live training. So the on-demand content is self-paced. You can go on an autopilot mode, starting from mathematics all the way to the very last section. And at the end, you have a bonus computer simulated practice exam that you can use to test yourself. I strongly recommend you to use the NCS sample exam as well, because that is coming directly from the exam makers. Now, if you want a little bit of additional guidance, then consider my live training. I conduct live training two to three times a year and the schedule is always up to date. You can check it out on the course page. In the live training, what we do is basically we build up on the on-demand. You'll feel really confident, competent and ready to take on the FE exam. Now let's talk a little bit about the PE power exam, which is basically the final stepping stone before your PE license. The name of the game when it comes to PE power is depth. As you probably know, there are a lot of abstract concepts in power systems. When it comes to the FE exam, a lot of students can get by by having maybe a mediocre, slightly above understanding of the concepts that are involved. But when it comes to the PE power, if you don't have a solid theoretical foundation, your chances of passing the exam are going to be very slim. So the approach that I take in my PE power program is a little bit different from the FE electrical. In the PE power, we really have to dig deep. We have to learn everything 360 degrees. I go through tons and tons of derivations in my program. And just like my FE Electrical and Computer Exam Preparation program, I have the on-demand content for my PE power where all the concepts are discussed in detail, lectures, quizzes, mini exam, computer simulated practice exam, in-depth explanation, examples that I solve by hand, detailed solutions for the quizzes. And then on top of that, I also have live training components. And the live training classes for my PE program are very intense. On average, every session goes over three hours long, sometimes three and a half hour long session, and sometimes even four hour long sessions because the concepts that we are dealing with are very complicated. And I like to teach everything from first principles. One of the most common feedback that I get from students after they pass the PE power exam is the boost in their confidence level. They are delighted by the fact that not only have they passed the exam in the first attempt, but they've also become much more better competent power systems engineers. And if you start giving interviews after getting your P license, which is not very uncommon, my students tell me that during those interviews, the technical portion, which they were previously dreading and were intimidated by, they actually own the interviews. By using these programs, you have structure, you can fast track your preparation, and you can increase the efficiency of your preparation on a daily basis so that the number of hours that you're putting in on a weekly basis, on a daily basis, are helping you move the needle. So all of a sudden, this intimidating task of passing the F electrical and computer exam and the P power exam, you might have been procrastinating, you might have been postponing these exams, but when you go through the program, you'll find that it will become less intimidating, less challenging, and hopefully quite a bit of fun. I look forward to being part of your P licensing process, and thanks again for visiting the website and watching this through. Thank you.